right in with video number one, the image basket. Oh, that sounds so exciting. <laughs> Actually, not to pick on anybody specifically, but, and this probably came from years ago, they came up with the name image basket. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna say this is probably one of the coolest features that I use all the time in ACDC and deserves a way, way better name than Image Basket. Maybe like Virtual Folder of Awesomeness. So the Image Basket allows you to put groups of things together in kind of a, a non-folder way. That's a terrible, you know what, let me just show you. Here we go. Through these series of 10 lessons, I have made a folder of lessons of, of seemingly random photos at this point. But this is where an image basket is great to put together random photos. When we have to put together groups of things, and there, there's times when I do this. So say uh, an agency reaches out and says, Alec, we need a bunch of headshots in this kind of style. And I may or may not have that. You may, maybe you're doing weddings. Maybe it's just uh, vacation photos and you wanna put together a group of photos and have a look at them. The normal way we'd maybe do that is we'd grab some stuff and put it in a folder and start moving stuff around and, and then it gets confusing from there. So let me, let me show you what an image basket is for, the virtual folder of awesomeness. So we'd go over to panes. I'm going to look for image basket and make a new image basket. And we go, it's just, it's just an area there. Say I want to send some stuff to uh, my people that post on Instagram for me. And I want to look for a new grouping of photos. So I look through and I go, oh, I would want to send that one to Instagram. And let me think, you know what? We should maybe do some headshots. So I can do a keyword search for headshots. It's now gonna look through my hard drive for images named headshots. Boom, I've got a bunch of headshots. And I could look for things that I think people might respond to on Instagram. Oh, everybody loves colored hair on Instagram. That's good. We'll grab that one. And then, and then I think to myself, oh, hold on. You know what? I've just done a shoot that had some environmental portraits. Cow headshots. Okay, there we go. So I'm, I'm not dragging these anywhere specifically. Some of these are TIFFs. That's a TIFF over there. This is a RAW. This is a JPEG. So these are all different file formats that are held in this like virtual. You know, I think of it like uh, a, a, a playlist on, on my iPhone. And when I'm creating a playlist, I just drag a bunch of songs down and I can move them in and out to organize them. They're not in a folder anywhere. It's just a virtual organization of images. And that's what this is for. And then you can ha have a look. You could, you could do a comparison of images. We're gonna be doing this a lot in these lessons where we drag something into the image basket so we can have a look. And especially when you got you know, a lot of screen real estate, it's fantastic to look and see if you're, you're creating a collection that works really well. One of the things that's great about an image basket, if I wanted to send these off to my team to potentially post on Instagram, they've, they've obviously gotta be sized for Instagram. Well, I can do that right out of here and I can, I can make them all the same size even though they're a completely different file format. So I go into export. I'm gonna drop them into a specific folder which I'll just go ahead and call Insta. And then as I scroll down, I'm gonna make these all JPEGs. So the PSD, the TIFF, and even the JPEG are all going to be uh, made into, J into JPEGs. I'm gonna resize them. I will, in fact, I am going to make them 2160 high. So that would, uh, that would be like a 4K image. Let's go, instead of dimensions, we'll go the long edge. I always like to do just one edge. These are portraits. I will call that the long edge. So I want to think of those as being 2160 high, which is the, the maximum that Instagram is going to pick up. And there we go. I can export those. All of those are now going to get sized to 2160 high as JPEGs, even though I've got five different file formats. And it's going to throw it into a folder up in my pictures folder. We'll go pictures, let's see. And I should have an Insta one. There we go. There's my six images all ready to send out. I use image basket for all sorts of things. You're gonna see the image basket used in probably all of these lessons to be able to move things through to, to do comparisons. Uh, it is probably the most used thing <laughs> that I have in ACDC that I can't use, I don't think I can use in any other piece of software. It's, it's simple, it's, it's, a, it's a bummer of a name 
but it is pure awesomeness. So enjoy that one. I'll see you for video number two.